what is up disc golfers today on iceberg tv i want to do my first thoughts of the discraft hades that it's not released yet but i believe um foundation disc golf will start selling them on the 22nd and then i'm not entirely sure when discraft is going to open up and be able to start selling them um, they haven't been shipping anything out recently because of uh, the situation so um, but some people will be shipping them out and uh, foundation disc golf will be one of them so this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the test flight hades compared to a z crank and as you can see they're very similar the z crank is like a little bit domier and then it sits like a little bit um not as wide in the rim so the rim of the hades is a little bit wider but the crank is a little bit um more domey so the Hades is supposed to be a less overstable Zeus. So this disc in Paul's bag will take the role of like big Annie turnovers. If he wants to throw a driver on, a, on like a distance roller, he's going to use it for those understable shots. The only time he won't be using it in that situation is if there's like a crazy tailwind. And if there's a crazy tailwind, there's no need to throw um, anything other than like a less stable disc because that tailwind is going to help it become more stable. So it seems like Paul needed this in his bag. And um, it's again, it's very similar to that crank. So if you like the crank, you might find yourself really liking the Hades. Now, if we look at the flight here, I mean, he just put that thing on spike hyzer and that flips up and goes so straight. Like, there's not much of, like, as far as a touring pro goes, there's not much of a use very often for discs that hyzer flip this much. Like, that's a spike hyzer but it flips up and like turns over super late in the flight, which is a really good shot to have in your bag, but it's very touchy. And a lot of times that's not the best golf shot. It's like, sometimes that's the only shot that will work on a specific hole, but that's the only time that you would want that late of a flip. You'd wanna go with more of a standard golf shot normally. I mean, he still put that on a hyzer and it went way to the right. So these things are super flippy. Not as flippy as a crank, I'll bet, but about as flippy as like an end of a Shrike. So people are saying the profile looks even more like a Shrike than it does the um, the crank. So uh, we're gonna see it being like a 12 or a 13 speed, like a six glide, and then like a minus two turn and a two fade is kind of what I'm predicting the flight numbers to be. So we'll have a look at just one more little throw here. I mean, that's that's like a slight hyzer release. That's not even a flat release. And I mean, that thing came down on like a roller angle. So these things are flippy. So if you have a slower arm speed or you want an understable driver that you can put up really high in the air, that will turn over, get you a late flip or just hold a high speed turn the whole time for a big distance, it may be a good disc for you. I think Paul will bag one, but I still think his primary driver is gonna be the Zeus and the Force for sure because they have that dependable fade at the end. The second thing I want to talk about in today's video is going to be the Disc Golf Pro Tour Virtual Putting Invitational. Now, uh, basically pros were invited to participate in this event. They do uh, 10 putts, so they are sorry, they do five putts at six different distances. So that's going to be 30 putts, uh, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. Now, the people who can putt from circle two, I think are gonna have the highest chance to win this competition. Um, the reason, so I did a bracket, they have brackets um, for this event. I think it's too late if you haven't already filled one out to fill one out because they already started. But I put Chris Dickerson to go all the way because he is, in my opinion, the most consistent circle two putter that is in this competition. Obviously, Paul's gonna be tough to beat. Obviously, Adam Hamez and Ricky are gonna be tough to beat. But I think in an un little unsanctioned non-tournament type event that they're really just going to be doing for fun and maybe a little bit of street cred. Uh, Chris Dickerson's the guy who I think is going to win this competition. So we saw the first couple matches here. We had Nate Perkins here. So they're basically like Nate Perkins is out playing in the rain and then Presnell's or sorry Perkins is playing out in the sun in California in his little shaded protected area so he's not going to have any wind because he's protected by the little house here now Presnell is I mean he's playing in the pouring rain he's freezing he's in a hoodie 
and I, I mean, I guess that's just the best, that's just the way the dice goes. Not everyone's gonna have a perfect environment because everyone's playing in different parts of the country, but Presnell put out a really nice performance. Definitely go watch this video if you wanna know who wins. And um, if you did make a bracket, let me know who you put to win because I have Chris Dickerson going all the way. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is going to be Brody Smith. So Brody just came out with the new Get Freakies. So the new Get Freakies are looking pretty good. They just, they came out with the black originally and then they came out with the orange, which were pretty fiery. And then now they have the blues. These things are probably already sold out. They sell out super fast. So when Discraft starts really shipping things out at a high level again, maybe they'll do a little restock. I'm sure they'll continue to just come out with more colors of these, but people are really loving these zones and the zone is making a big comeback in a big way right now. So I'm excited to see more people throw in the zone and I haven't seen one of these in person yet, so I don't know how flat they are, how stable they are or whatever the case may be. But I know the zone is a good, reliable approach putter that a lot of people like. Now, uh, we got one more little clip of Brody here. This is from his Instagram. He's in Scuba Town. He was doing a zone only round and he did this. It's up. And it's in! Good job! Well, we'll look at that one more time. Oh my gosh! Catch me outside, catch me in the basket. Creamsicle, <laughs> get free. It's not creamsicle. I'm calling it creamsicle from now on. Creamsicle is orange and you white. You like my scuba sign off? Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, he's getting down on the knee again. This is serious, folks. Oh, he's going scuba. He's going scuba. It's up. Hit it! Brody can do some cool stuff, so we're gonna see what he's able to do. I think he's gonna surprise everybody with how high of a round he shoots in the next tournament. So if you have any comments about the Hades, about the putting invitational or Brody, leave in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this video. I did make a patron account. If you guys wanna check that out, the link is in the description below. Thank you for watching this Iceberg TV. Take care.